Good morning, everyone. It's Brandon Green, host of the Let's Go Brandon Green podcast. And right now we're going to look at DeSantis. His interview went wrong, apparently, according to ultra-leftist David Pakman. And he reckons it helps Trump. So let's see what it's all about. Let's now go to the lack of charisma of Ron DeSantis. And we're not going to spend a ton of time on this. Ron DeSantis was interviewed a couple nights ago by Jesse Waters. Jesse Waters is a Fox News host who I, I'm aware that he now is going to be in prime time on Fox News thanks to the firing of Tucker Carlson and a sort of reorganization that went on. Um, and Jesse Waters is horrible. But Ron DeSantis is so painfully awkward and cringy. Here is DeSantis claiming the left doesn't want people to be happy. And he's not really making a very good case that that's the truth. And after ovens, why does the government do that? If they just want to control, you have an itch on the left. They want to control behavior. A lot. Of, we saw the same thing with COVID. A lot of that wasn't about your health. It was about they wanted to control your behavior. One hundred percent, one thousand percent. That's what the lockdowns were. You need to lock down. You can't work. You can only work at half speed. And guess what? You have to get a vaccine. Oh, and you have to get another one. And you need to get another one. And you're still not even allowed to come. You know, fucking joke. So they just don't want people to be happy and be able to make their own decisions. They were going after gas stoves in Florida. We made them tax free. Oh, that's happening in Australia too. Don't you worry. You'd incentive to remove your gas stove, man. <laughs> we may have to do some incentives for, for the coal fire pizza because you know what? Uh, we'll take it. They're going to want us to microwave. Look at Pac-Man just smugly sitting there, just agreeing with it. Just be like, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, you do as you're told this pizza so you're okay and there's ron DeSantis eating pizza eating pizza you know you're really angering liberals when you eat pizza on fox news from a studio in new york city didn't obama order pizza or so this <laughs> is supposed to make the guy likable in some way this is supposed to show us that he's right on some policy issue well if you look back mate florida all didn't die because of covid so he was right on that. People got to live their lives a hell of a lot better than other places in the world. It is just pathetic. Then the topic, by the way, of Gavin Newsom came up, came up, uh, came up. and Gavin Newsom is the Democratic governor of California who has been trolling DeSantis very hard, very hard. And DeSantis actually has to lie to criticize California, which they love to do. What's with Gavin Newsom? <laughs> Well, you know, I was born and raised in Florida. I never saw a California license plate my whole life uh, in Florida. And why would you? Why would I, Now, I know people are going to write to me and say, David, what is wrong with Ron DeSantis? Why, why does his head shake like that? I am going to remind everybody. To our knowledge, Ron DeSantis does not have a condition that would cause any kind of uh, shaking or tremors. Uh, nothing Parkinsonian. He doesn't have of dyskinesia or any of that. If he did, we would not be pointing this out. This is a move that Ron DeSantis does to seem engaging and laid back. He just, his, his head moves like a bobblehead and he could float on out of the screen if you're not careful. Ha! Uh, it's a very weird trait. And he Dude, your head looks like a bobblehead. Also, Gavin Newsom is very angry and bitter because his ex-wife is now being pumped very hard, may I add, by Donald Trump Jr. and very well. And she's very happy now. He needs he needs some kind of a personality transplant. Trump was right. Believe a San Diego or or uh, Los Angeles, and yet since I've been governor, we've seen a huge rush of people moving clear across the country to leave California, leave San Francisco, leave LA to come to Florida. Nobody, no California had never lost population for its entire history. Lie. Okay, so that's not true. And again, it's like. States sometimes gain population, sometimes they lose. It can happen for a number of different reasons. It doesn't All I can say is you're right there, um, David, but if you are relocating from California and drove there and moved to Florida, that is a fucking long way away, mate. It doesn't have to be because of a woke dystopia or whatever the case may be, but there were multiple years in the 90s when California lost population. He's hanging his hat on, this is a new thing. It's not true. Hey, you. Well, it yes, might be you. because the 90s was a long time away. A long time ago. So he might be right there. 
And so I think he sees people leaving. I think he sees that there's deterioration, and I think he's lashing out. Do you think Newsom's trying to be next in line and jump Kamala Harris? Well, you know, what I told him is, stop <laughs> messing around on the sidelines. Like, either do it or not. Like, are you going to take on Joe? If so, step into the ring and do it. Well, oh, I'd so love I think it. He's kind of maneuvering in the in the background. Um, but, you know, that would be interesting to see if, if Biden doesn't. All- oh, I'd love for that to happen because he is a wacko. The thing is, Biden's a wacko, but he doesn't speak. And, you know, we, we're sheltered from him. Someone, they need to put in someone that actually speaks to us and, like, we can engage in. Like, do reporters even ask questions to Biden anymore like they did to Trump and pres- every president beforehand? Like, what the fuck is going on? No matter what Biden does, nobody wants Harris. And so it's almost like just let him finish out. And it- By the way, let him finish rather than impeaching. Wouldn't it be good for there to be something to impeach Joe Biden over? DeSantis, like as a matter of political strategy, I don't know that impeaching him makes sense. How about, is there any reason to impeach him? It's sort of like the stuff with the crimes. Does it matter that there's no evidence of criminality, nor charges, nor- No, because we just don't go down that bitter road. You can impeach anyone. You just get bullshit votes and it doesn't mean anything. very little sense. (laughs) And I'll be honest- We don't play that game. DeSantis actually is getting any traction with. It's certainly not the broader Republican electorate. And when he goes to a diner, it's extremely awkward. I don't know who likes DeSantis. Here, actually, there's a woman that goes to my gym who's been wearing a DeSantis tank top for a while. So I I guess I could ask her. Um, Here is uh, DeSantis weighing in on the loyalty question that Donald Trump has brought up so many times. Trump says you're disloyal. Do you feel that way? Disloyal to who? I mean, you know, politicians have to earn support. They're not entitled to support. Uh, I did a lot for him in 2016 and 2020, by the way. I was happy to do it. Oh, yeah. But at the end of the day, um, you know, I'm loyal to my family, to our Constitution, and to the good Lord. And I have a wow. vision. Uh, I think I'm the guy that can beat Biden. But even more importantly, no more excuses on these issues. I'm going to get all of this stuff done. We'll have a plan on day one to get going and get cracking and give you two great terms for eight years and really get the country on a fundamentally different path. I think I'm the guy to do it. And so I have uh, the responsibility to step up and serve. There you go. And you can really feel the energy and the enthusiasm and the fact that DeSantis... And only Florida is keen on it as as an overall thing. And even then they don't want to do it because then they lose their governor. So... But everyone wants Trump. Like, fuck, put your hat in the ring, but Trump's going to blow you out and he'll be the Republican nominee. And then we'll see what the Democrats dish up. Will it be Kamala? Definitely not. Will it be Sleepy Joe? Well, they've done it before and that's probably the best thing. (laughs) What what more than likely is going to happen? The dude doesn't speak. He'll campaign again from his basement. And then you've got RFK Jr. who is ruffling some feathers and it's looking great. This really is going to get all of these things done, isn't he? You can really just tell. So, oh listen, yeah, he's a bullshitter. It, it's, the, the entire loyalty thing. Um, they're these are both clowns when it comes to loyalty. I'm talking about Trump and DeSantis. Trump's view is DeSantis isn't loyal because he decided to run against Trump after Trump supported him. This is politics. Okay, yeah. let's pull up our big boy pants. And let's realize that this is politics. This isn't, uh, you know, it's not gin rummy or whatever. Um, this is this is just kind of the way it is. And if you're going to be this much of a snowflake, Trump, I'm talking about, it's going to be tough to have success in other areas. And Trump is, of course, struggling for success. From the point of view of DeSantis, the idea of invoking God and saying my loyalty is to God rather than to Trump. Again, it's an, I know it's a small thing, but it's another one of these examples of how they constantly have to drag in religion to civil government positions. He's running for a position in civil government. Should have nothing to do whatsoever with God, but he just can't resist. Not necessarily, Pacman. As you know, that uh, the Bible has a lot of um, good moral... And I'm not a Christian man or anything like that myself. More of an agnostic, but... I'll have a listen to each religion, each and every religion, uh, and not just write it off. And I do believe there's some incredible morals and ethics that all our laws and 
countries were made from hundreds and thousands of years ago from these books like bibles and things like that you know so hell of a lot more than what's going out with throwing the whole book out and then burning the city down like democrat run cities you know the thing about democrats they're heavily atheists and uh it doesn't appear to be that good does it you know you need some some morals some good strong morals david and that's what he's getting at when he says god in the bible you know, it doesn't tell you in the Bible to go and steal something, to go and burn something down, to go and murder someone. And that's what's going on in a lot of Democrat-run cities. So the further you get from Christ, the further the world becomes unstuck. So I'd rather live under the law of the God or the Bible any day than what the hell's what you're preaching, Mr. David Packman.